Yeah, tell them yes. just shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the up. All right, so you want me to clap? Yeah. Get ready with me. We are here in our studio in Soho doing a shoot today. And one of the biggest requests that I've gotten over the years is folks ask me about my makeup. You know, a lot of people think, or they make the assumption that over the years that I've had a makeup artist, right? Whenever I do my show, but over 14 years of doing Marie TV, I'm the one behind the scenes doing my own makeup. It's not hard, it's very simple. You can do your own makeup, you can look glowy and fresh and feel amazing. Let's go. At home, I've done my skin prep already, and if you want me to do a whole video on that, just let me know in the comments below. But step number one for me is a little bit of coverage. So I use this IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. I love it because it has um, SPF 50. So check this out. And all I do, honestly, I don't use brushes. I don't use anything. I just use my hand. And as you can see, it's like, whoa, when I put this on initially, I'm like, holy moly, that's a lot. But when you're on camera and you've got all of these big lights in your face, you really need a little bit extra. Then, after I have that first layer on, I like to go in with a little Laura Mercier camouflage. So, as I am Italian, and many of you probably have this too, some dark circles under the eyes. Again, I like using my fingers. Okay. And then any excess, I always put it right around my nose, down those laugh lines. I love this thing so much, I use it all the time. It's like one of those little bits of my makeup that I throw in my bag if I find myself on a plane or anywhere and I just need to touch things up, it does the trick. So next, I'm gonna go to my eyes and this is really simple, a little Jones Road right here. This is the uh, Just A Sec eyeshadow and I love the bronze color. I got big eyes, but unless we give it some dimension, it don't look too cute, boom. Next up, one of my favorite things, I've probably been doing this since I was um, a teenager, is I love to have a little thin black liner. So, I have two favorite products. This one, I've used it so much that the label isn't even on it anymore. It's Pat McGrath, so her liquid liner is amazing. It's waterproof. And I also have Makeup Forever. This is the Aqua Resist Pen. I layer them both because honestly, I like layering. I'm gonna probably go out of the camera to do this because I really need to do it right. And there you go. Just makes the eyes pop a little bit. Anytime um, I've worked with makeup artists in the past, they often they're like, no, we don't need to do liner. I'm like, you gotta do the liner. Mama needs the liner. Okay, so next up, I wanna do one of my favorite things ever, um, blush. So this is my favorite new thing that I have. It's Jones Road, their Miracle Balm. And so this one, again, you can tell when I use things because I actually start to rub off the labels. This is Miami Beach. Look at how dreamy and creamy that is. So Jones Road, their products are incredible. Again, this is the second Jones Road product that I'm using. And I just like to get in there and just give myself that initial little glow on the cheeks. Try and go next, nice near my cheekbones, all the way up to my hairline. And as you can see, it gives a little color. And again, I don't like to wear a lot of makeup, but when I'm about to go on camera, like right even here, I can see in this camera, it's like, oh wow, girl, it's a little red. But once I get out there on set under those big lights, it's nearly enough. And because cheeks are important, both the cheeks on your face and the cheeks on your buns, I also have a secondary product I love to layer. So this is Glossier. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. In um, puff. So I take a little bit of this paint and just dab it on. As you can see, it gives like that ballerina pink moment. Just gives it one extra layer of color. Then, I like to go underneath. I'm coming back to Jones Road. This time it's Miracle Bomb in bronze. I don't care if I do stuff out of order, y'all. You don't have to get stuff right. I come in right here and just add just a tiny bit of dimension underneath. Not a lot. Just a little bronzer down there. And then a little sweep of bronzer around the hairline. One little sweep under my chin. 
then I can start to get that nice sun-kissed, glowy look, but still keep it super moist and dewy. Okay, where we're going next, this is so big for me. I happen to have really long lashes, but as you can see right now, they just hang out like this, they flop. So they're long and they are not curled. So I'm going in with my eyelash curler. So boom, look at that difference, right? Lashes down, lashes up, lashes down, lashes up. So I'm gonna go in on the other side. Look at how bright my eyes look. Oh my God, she's awake, people. She is awake. I am loving Jones Road, their mascara. Check it out, again, big Jones Road pen. So what I like about this mascara, check this out. I just go in and under and lift, lift, lift. And I don't touch my bottom ones, not usually when I'm going on set because I really want that height. Because again, I have those puppy dog eyes that can look um, droopy so quick. There we go, that's one layer. I might have to clean that up. I don't get clumps, there we go. But look at that, no mascara, mascara, amazing. Jones Road, perfection, stays up. So now you can kind of start to see like, oh, this is how y'all see me pretty much all the time. We're gonna bump it up now, um, going in for lips. So this is my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, Pillow Talk, right? So let's see if you can see that. I like anything that's nice and rosy in tone. Lip liner, y'all, oh my God, taking me back to the day in the 90s. Anyone else do brown lip liner like I did? Jesus, what were we thinking? This is a little more natural, a little more fun. I just feel in a little bit. I don't like to wear lipstick, to be honest with you. It gets everywhere. But again, when I find that I'm on camera, just gives some nice pop um, and some nice contrast with my face. So next, in terms of what we're gonna fill in, I like to do layers. So the first one, NARS Orgasm. It's just their lip balm. It just gives me some nice initial moisture. As you can see, it's got a little bit of tone, a little bit of pink to it, but I'm not done there. Then we're going in and Say Cosmetics has these beautiful new, um, gorgeous, I love the packaging on this. It's just so good and it feels good in your hand. These are these Glossy Bounce, fantastic lip balms and colors. So this one I'm gonna do and it's called Play, which of course is one of my favorite words. Play and fun, check this out. Oh yeah, oh God, that feels so good. The way you get something unique in terms of your look is you layer. Okay, so at this point in the game, when I'm getting ready for camera, I always just take a look and go, okay, what does mama need a little bit more of? And what I feel I need a little bit more of right now, I wanna do a little bit of highlighter. So this is Ilia Liquid Light. Do you see that? Now the thing with this product, First of all, I love Iliad. I like to use as many clean products as I possibly can, but I'm not gonna make myself crazy over it. If something is effective and it works on camera, it's just gonna work. So progress, not perfection, right? So with this Ilia product, you do not need a lot. Otherwise, you are gonna look like you just took a bath in gold glitter. So I just take the tiniest, tiniest pump on my finger. Even that, way too much, way too much. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take my other finger, Dab, dab, dab. And now here, going in on this cheekbone, do you see how bright that is? Holy moly, guacamole. All right, now though, as we blend it, we get right up and just gives that nice little lift on the cheek. And then I'll also take that same little highlighter. I'm gonna go under the arch of my brow and then a little bit oh, right here. There we go. Okay, so then I take a look, what else does she need? And what she does need is a little more brightening under the eyes. Once again, this is important because when those lights are bright, you can really see the circles. So I'm gonna go in with just a little more touch of this product. This is uh, Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Radiant Skin Concealer, and it's in medium, number five. This, you will see, is the first time that I'm actually using a brush. So taking a nice little simple MAC brush, I don't know which one it is, so don't ask me. And I'm just gonna take it down. Yes! 
There she is. Now we're really getting there. Okay, a couple more steps left. This is kind of like the finishing touches. We're gonna take um, one of my favorite things that I've always done, you know, anytime I've worked with makeup artists, they're often like, oh no, don't kind of line the inner, um, your inner lids. What's it called, the lash line? Waterline. Waterline, right? And it's like, no, we want them to stay nice and bright. I'm like, girl, I'm from Jersey. I need it to be dark. I want some contrast. So I go in on my waterline. And I really don't think it matters what you use, to be honest with you. This one, it's beauty counter. Beauty counter, it's just black. Black eyeliner. Yes, ooh, now I get even happier looking in the mirror. This is fun. Okay, so this last step is going to be um, some universal blotting powder. So I'm using Fenty's Beauty Universal Blotting Powder. Just taking a big old brush. This is from IT Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna go hit my T-zones because that's where mama tends to be, like most of us, the oiliest, right? So going around the nose, I like to leave the cheeks alone as much as I can. Greg on set will always be like, ah, we need a little more powder, but I try and leave it alone if I can. One final little piece that I forgot is actually just to fill in a little brow. So as you guys know, I have a lot of hair naturally, but there is one little section on both of my brows that I just like to fill in. And this is with a little pencil from Anastasia. It's Brow Wiz, as you can see. I just like to go in and just give it that extra little bit of definition right in those areas where it's like, oh, I just want a little bit more like that. And then of course, I love using her nice little brow brush to take them up a notch. There we go. Get them nice and high and just freshen them up. And there you have it. That is my on camera look. Doesn't take me too long. I don't use a ton of stuff. And um, yeah, if you wanna do other makeup tutorials together like natural look for day to day, any skincare, make your requests in the comments below and I'll see you soon.